Hi, this video is going to show you how to use Google Maps to plan your road trip. If you uh, go to the search bar and type in Google Maps, you'll be able to come on up. And then if you click over in the corner, you will see that you can actually type in an address or a location and it will start. Then I actually want to flip the starting location to Bold Trailer and Caravan Repair Centre first. And then directly in the line under it, we're going to go to Port Macquarie to start with. So type in where you are and the next minute, here it comes. It will show you how long the car trip should be. You can click and get some details on the exact journey, what roads you need to take. Uh, you can choose tolls and no tolls. You can have lots of other options there. But I want to have a bit of a break. I don't want to actually go the whole way. So I'm going to click again and add Heatherbray Pies, one of my favorite stopping destinations and pop that in. Now I'm going to click and drag that into the middle because that's where I want to stop. And now you can see it has added my stopping point to my destination. Again, if I click on details, I will get the trip broken up into different sections. And you can see where the stop is by the little dot that it adds there. If I click on it, I can get all the information on Heatherbray Pies, their opening hours, their menu, their website. Uh, if I wanted to, I could click to see what's near it and around it. Going back to our destination, I can click, I can see, I can book directly if I wanted to book a caravan park space, I can go to the website, I can get the reviews, I can see what else is around it, I can see what people have been saying about the location I'm thinking of attending. Now if I click back to the destination and add my next stop, let's just say we're going to head off to Urala. Heading up into the northern tablelands there, it will then give me my next details and show me the next part of the trip. From there, let's where should we head to? Let's head off to Coffs Harbour. Now I could be really specific and be putting in the actual address here just for the creation of this demonstration. I'm just putting in the town. You can see the blue line is showing you where you're going to travel your journey. From Coffs, let's head off to Ballina. can zoom in, you can see your trip. Next, Tenterfield sounds like a great destination next. Let's head inland. We'll head off to Warilda, keep heading inland. Then I might want to start traveling south again. We'll head off to Tamworth. No, let's change that. Let's go to Dubbo. So just by clicking on the dot and dragging it to the destination, it will automatically change the route for you. And then from there, let's head home. So we're going to come back to our starting destination, but I'd like a different route. So you can actually drag again, pick any of the little dots and drag it around. And I'd particularly like to come back through the Blue Mountains. I love them. So I can then click on the route. I can add you know, avoid highways or tolls. I can get it to give me the distance in different denominations. I can click on it and scroll through it. I can send the directions to my phone, which is brilliant if you want them on a different destination. If you decide you don't want to go somewhere, you can just click and take it out. Scroll through and you'll see all the roads, the travel destination that you need. It'll actually give you the length of time you'll be traveling between each one. You can share the link if you want to share it with family or friends, your traveling buddy, perhaps it's your four wheel driving club or your caravanning club. You can print it off. You can embed it to a website. If you're, if you're sharing your journey online, you can embed that map. You can print it off and have a hard copy of it as well. 